people were asking me to explain how I made my Moiré clock. Uh, the inspiration actually comes from these coasters that I have. So these have a Moiré pattern which consists of a base layer and a reveal layer. These have patterns with slightly different pitch. By rotating them you can see these interesting fringe patterns. I did the design for my clock in Inkscape and I choose different Moiré effects for the different numbers. The hours consists of a Moiré magnification or shape Moiré effect. With the Moiré magnification effect the reveal layer basically stretches the picture on the base layer in one direction. The next wheel shows the tens of minutes and this uses a scanimation effect, which strictly speaking is probably not a Moiré effect. The base layer is just sliced with the pattern of the reveal layer. The minutes wheel also uses the same scanimation effect, but here we have two sections, one which contains the numbers 0 to 4 and one which contains the numbers 5 to 9. This is just because um, putting all the digits from 0 to 9 in a single scanimation wouldn't be possible because you would have to slice the picture in very small strips. The last wheel for the seconds is again a classical Moiré pattern. In this case it's a spiral pattern and it, it's constructed in a way so that when you superimpose the reveal layer onto the base layer you just see a single fringe. I found this pattern um, on this website which explains a lot about Moiré patterns and especially how to use them as indicators. The base layer for the Moiré clock was printed on a backlight foil which was then put on a custom light box. This light box just consists of translucent acrylic plates and aluminum frame with some LEDs in the back. For the reveal layer I tried different manufacturing techniques like 3D printing, laser cutting, vinyl plotting and also printing on acrylic panels. The laser cutting didn't work out so well because the structures are just too small and the parts didn't really look uh, very nice. Also the, the vinyl plotting didn't work uh, very good again because the structures are too small. The 3D printing worked quite well. The only problem is that due to the thickness and because the reveal layer is not completely flush you can see that the pattern looks a little bit different depending on the viewing angle. Finally the best solution was to have the reveal layer painted onto the back of a transparent acrylic plate. The first acrylic plates that I got the paint is a little bit transparent. On the second try I asked them to print a white color on the back to completely block all the light. The wheels are rotated by stepper motors and it took me some time to pick the right motors. I started with this very common 28 BYJ 48 stepper motors which are super cheap. Um, they are also accurate enough. The problem with these is that they have quite some backlash because they are geared stepper motors. I then switched to these smaller stepper motors which you can get with different gear ratios. Uh, so the ones I got have a gear ratio of 1 to 298 so that they are very accurate but because they are also geared, they suffer from the same backlash problem. In the end, I ended up with these round NEMA 14 stepper motors, which have a step angle of 0.9 degrees. And using 16 micro stepping, these are accurate enough. And because they are ungeared, they have no backlash. The motors were attached to the back of the acrylic plate with the help of 3D printed holders. Each holder has a little bit of tolerance in order to adjust the motor position in XY so that the reveal layer can be exactly aligned relative to the base layer. 
For the second wheel, the alignment was very difficult because the pattern is very sensitive to misalignment. Since the alignment did not work perfectly, I wanted to rotate the second wheel much faster, so it is now showing a full rotation in only 6 seconds. The motors are controlled by an Arduino Uno and a CNC shield. To keep time, the clock also contains an RTC module. And I also added an Arduino Nano to control the LEDs because there were no more pins left over on the CNC shield. To home the motors, I installed hall sensors and I added small magnets to the clock wheels. When you switch on the clock, the wheels first move to the home position and then display the time. <laughs> 